Alright, I got some plain uh, butterball turkey burgers here, so I squirted some, uh, just the usual salt and pepper, 21 seasoning, no salt seasoning, and then some of the fresh herb paste, well not fresh, but and some of the uh, Korean chili pepper paste, because these are so plain, you gotta make it tasty, so I just add some oil. Delicious uh, foodies. There's what I was preparing before. You know, I marinated the butterball turkey burgers with the what I you saw the spices I used before. I already got on camera. Um, and then we got some rice bits with uh, cauliflower and um, uh, broccoli and little bits of carrot. I guess is what's in there. That's really convenient. I thought I had to use rice separately, but it was rice bits, which will be even better for this meal. It'll really blend in. Then we have our eggs with all of our mushrooms and our episode herb with uh, just your salt and pepper in there as well. Nothing too special there. And all right, now I'm going to bring this cheese over here. What I'm doing here is I'm going to sandwich the cheese in the middle of the layers so it melts up and down, as cheese likes to do. And also the mushrooms in the middle, too. So here I've got the potatoes at the bottom because they'll cook against the metal surface good and be done in time. You don't want to uh, cook potatoes in a glass pan when you're making this type of dish or it will not work as quick. you got to use metal. All metal. Right. Heavy metal. Nah, just whatever. Don't use, oh, sorry. Don't use aluminum. That's too crappy though. It'll flake in your food and not be too yummy. Use aluminum made out of cocaine leaves, right? Alright. Everything you do is amazing. So yeah, we got a nice layer of cheese. I guess I'll just use all of it up here. And then we'll put more cheese towards the end on the top, but I'll show you that later. There's our cheese now. Let me bring this over here. And then, the concept is, is to, uh, you want the egg to really soak in there, so you want to put it through some of the layers. But you don't want, like, this stuff to get too eggy, because you want a separation of layers of flavor, you know what I'm saying? But also certain things mixing. So I, I arranged the order in which you put things in the pan very specifically. Yeah, so, the, uh, yeah, you got to put the potatoes on the bottom with the tortilla strips to kind of separate and soak the egg in, all right. So we'll splooge this around. Get it evenly distributed, hopefully, and then we'll kind of spread it out on here. That's egg, uh, some spices, and uh, tomato? Yeah. Um, I, nothing too special in the spices, like I said. Used eight to make or eight eggs, I think. Uh, maybe something to smooth with. Hey now, baby. Alrighty, there we go. The cheese will get all the oils marinating and mixing good. Alright, and then a layer of this. So we'll just whack it on there. It's the easiest way to get it even. It's more work. The food is tastier for it. I'm a food magician. She gotta lay the spells right or the 
flavor combinations will blow up your taste buds, totally. It's all magic in the kitchen. Bitchin' in the kitchen with you. Yep, because you are a Jew. Oh yeah, they got frozen Leo on there. Yeah. Look at that. Yep. And now we just got the uh, strips of this nonsense. See if we can get this evenly distributed across the surface so it can really brown it nice and melt its juicy fat down into the rest of the ingredients. Oh, yeah. All right. I feel so easy to cook it. I could probably be faster, but whatever. I'm a perfectionist, sort of. Well, I can always cut. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, just we're almost done. Doesn't matter. All right. It's just you want even even flavor distribution, you know. You know. You know. Oh yeah. Alright, that's pretty even, I guess. That'll work. We gotta get enough in the corners. Alrighty, there we go. Then, uh, if you're a bold boy, you put on more oil, which I'm gonna do a little bit. Just to really golden crisp the, uh, turkeys. So I'm gonna put in some avocado oil across the whole thing. Now make sure to do it like a professional chef and not spill a single drop. Because if you spill a single drop, then your grade will be um, F minus instantly. It's the secret. The oil splash. If it doesn't land and soak just right, it won't taste good. All right, I'll put it in the oven now at 380. Um, I guess top shelf. I don't know. Eh, we'll start with bottom shelf. There we go. Uh, let it cook for. Alright, here it is at 40 minutes, it looks pretty tasty, let's see here, uh, let me get a fork, we'll see how this uh, is cooking up, I think I'll flip all these pieces of meat on the top so that they'll cook correctly, of course I can't do that, I don't have my camera main, so... I'll turn this camera off and flip it. It looks like it needs to cook a little more, the chicken or turkey on top, after I flip it. Put some more oil on it. Then, um, I'll check the potatoes on the bottom. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to oil the pan before I threw the potatoes on the bottom. So, they're kind of glued to the bottom. Oops. Well, whatever. They're, they looks like they're cooking pretty nicely. Alrighty. I'm, I'm silly. I should have known better. Remember, put oil below the potatoes. <laughs> below the bottom layer. <laughs> whatever. Alrighty. I got it back out after another 10 minutes. So, in total, it's been in the oven for about 51 minutes. Uh, I was just going to add a little bit more cheese to the top because it looks like the turkey's edible now. Uh, edible. So I'll add some soy sauce here. Let me switch it in. Ugh. Add a little bit of soy sauce. I didn't want the flavors mixing too early while it's cooking so the soy sauce goes on the chicken and will soak down into the uh, potatoes just for a few minutes while the cheese melts. There we go. Some people would just put the soy sauce on their own individual platter plate, but I kind of like it a little bit cooked in with it. So it's still separate, distinct flavors. I'm just putting a little bit of cheese on this uh, here. 
um, on the turkey just because I like cheesy turkey, you know. Split that on there. Let me just use my camera hand just a second. All right, there's some more cheese on there, I guess. Put it in the oven for a couple minutes and let it melt, and I'll show you it one more time if I have any battery left. Then it'll be edibilizing time. See you in a minute. Oh, yeah, all right. Let's scoop some out here. Look at that tasty goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put it on a plate next to our avocado. Check it out. There's a meal. You could add some bread, some salad, whatever you wanted on there, you know, make it a good old country meal. It's too hot to try yet, but it tastes real good, I'm sure. You know the ingredients, you can guess the flavor. It's been another recipe, see you next time.